Greetings, brothers and sisters. We bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God besides him. There is no God equal to him. He have no partners. There is no God like him. It is he and he alone that made the heavens and the earth. He alone is the true sender and teacher of only holy prophets. And he is the true sender and teacher of holy apostles. We thank him for being a living God. He's not a dead God. He's not a painting on your wall. He's not a design in your church windows. He's not an image on your cross. His face will not be found in the pages of your Bible. He is God that's higher than heaven. Deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. There's none that can be compared to him. God have no father because he is father. God have no mother. God is not a created source, but by all means, he is the source of all creation. It looked beautiful in here this evening to see the many that's here so far. We thank him for this youth conference. We are grateful to God for our young people. There's so many hundreds that are not here. If they were here, this the building can't hold what's here, so you can imagine if the many hundreds were, they'd be spilt out on the parking lot, literally by the hundreds. Because there are so many, by the grace of God, whom the Lord seen fit to open their eyes. Yeah. That's one of the greatest times in your life is when your eyes come open Amen. and you can clearly confess you're not ignorant no more. Amen. When you're able to make that confession, that's a good thing. Amen. We ourselves sometimes were foolish Brother Paul said, disobedient and deceived, Amen. serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice, envy, and hateful and hating one another. But after the love of God toward man appeared, that's what have us all here today. God love. Yeah. It isn't anything so important about me or you it is just God mercy Amen. that got us here. So when we worship God, whether we sing or pray or testify, we have to do it from the perspective of God mercy. That's right. And if you do it under that umbrella, you would marvel how much energy you will put into it. That's right. Oh, yes, you will. That's true. When you realize that you're not here because of who you are or what you are or what you are trying to become. Yeah. We are nothing more than a bubble on water. You know what keeps a bubble floating on water? Oh, yeah. Air. Yeah. When that air is taken out from that bubble, then the bubble disappears. Mm -hmm. That's the way we are. We are nothing but like a bubble on water when God snatch the breath out of you yeah. you no longer are here <clears throat> so we have to <clears throat> give God much recognition <clears throat> excuse me give God much recognition mm -hmm. give God all praise give God all respect and give God all honor yeah. because it is due him that's right not them him. him. You that's trying to recognize them, 
You're having a tough time. Yeah. Because you're creating some jealousy in the atmosphere. That's right. That's right. Lord, our God declared himself to be a jealous God. Jealous. He's so jealous. He said he don't want you to wish up no other, no other God. Amen. Don't want you to have no other God besides him. Right. Then he confessed. Amen. He said, for I, the Lord, your God, oh, God. am a jealous God. That's right. You know, sometimes it's hard to endure a jealous person. Oh, yeah. It's no way I'm going to put up <laughs> with a jealous God by making a God next to him. Next to him. So we are grateful to be here and to the many that are watching, that are listening. This is, again, the greatest religious program in America. Yeah. And the world. Mm -hmm. What make it great? It isn't me. I oh, know. God make it great. Yeah, that's right. This is why it's called the truth of God. It's not called Geno Jennings Ministry. It's not called Williams and Jennings Ministry. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not called the Jennings Ministry. Not at all. That's right. That's a family business. That's right. It's called the truth of God because the only truth we believe, the only truth we accept, mm -hmm. the only truth we commit ourselves to, mm -hmm. the only truth that we respect, yes, sir. <clears throat> and the only truth that we will obey yes, is whatever God said. That's right. Am I right, Isaac? That's right. And if I want to know what God said, I have to go to God's word. To the word. You can go to the college, you can go to the library, you can go to the cemetery school. That's right. Somebody said you didn't pronounce that right. You meant to say seminary. No, I meant to say what I said. Amen. Cemetery school. Amen. And the question is, why do I call it cemetery school? <laughs> well, the Bible says the sting of death is sin. sin. And sin bring on blindness. That's right. And the cemetery is where you place the dead. Mm -hmm. So the living, glory to God, knowledge of God. Go ahead. The knowledge of God that gives you life and resurrects you from the dead mm -hmm. cannot be found in the place where theology, theology. and philosophy is taught. That's right. That's why we call it cemetery school. Mm -hmm. You know, because the dead, they just bury their dead. Bury their dead. Uh, you, you just graduate from different levels of the wisdom of men. Right. And out of all your graduation, you never gravitate to the wisdom and the knowledge of God. That's right. Now we're going to dive into the Bible. I'm so glad for this message. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for the effect that God is having. Yes. Amen. We're living in the last days, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Don't you see it? Oh, yeah. We're living in the last days where men have turned on God. And Satan have thoroughly infiltrated that which is of God. That's right. Why do Satan come among the work of the Lord? Mm-hmm. Why has Satan ever came among the work of God? God have a purpose. Hear me well. And the devil, Satan, Abaddon, Apollyon, the wicked one, the accuser of the brethren, the God of this world, the deceiver, yeah. The great red dragon, yeah. the evil spirit, yes. the serpent, mm -hmm. bows above. Yeah. He also he have a purpose. Have a purpose. Right. Just like God have preachers, mm -hmm. apostles, prophets, bishops, which are elders, evangelists, deacons, mm -hmm. ministers. The devil have. 
apostles, prophets, bishops, elders, deacons, ministers. Just like God has a church, yeah. the church, mm -hmm. the body of Christ. That's right. The devil has churches. Yeah. That's one thing he's not singular in. Mm -hmm. He has churches. That's right. Just like God have a way. Mm -hmm. The devil have ways. 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 Now, <clears throat> I want to work on, and I want to take my time and dealt with this. I have preached this in many parts of America. But this message that's ringing down in my soul We never had the privilege mm. to put it over the air. Mm. It will answer a lot of unanswered questions. It will eliminate ignorant participation mm. in church rituals that's not scripturally justified. Right. It will cause you to ask why. Are we doing this and not doing that? Amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, friends and enemies, because all of you are watching. In your car, you have what is called, what is the GPS system? If you don't know where you're going, you put in your direction, it guides you there. It never gets you to the right place hopefully <laughs> this navigates us to God That's right. there's a pattern that Satan has in doing things and I have studied the pattern of the devil. I want to say, you study Satan? Yes. I have to study Satan to know who I'm dealing with and what I'm dealing with. I can't downplay the power of the devil like these television preachers. They're going around saying the devil don't have no power. Oh, really? Who you think owned the American government? That's right. The devil. That's right. Who do you think run Congress? The devil. Who you think swayed Barack Obama for same-sex marriages? Lord. The devil. That's right. What make a white man hang a black man? The devil. What makes a black man carjack a family? The devil. That's right. What make a father sodomize his son? The devil. What make preachers set up religions? The devil. God has one way, one standard, one law, one purpose, one doctrine, one setup. Satan infiltrates the oneness to bring division in the midst of a unified atmosphere. That's right. The Lord declared, I am God and there is none other. Amen. The Lord declared, there is no God besides me. The Lord asked, is there a God before me? Yea, I know not any. Right. The Lord declared himself to be one. Amen. The Lord never declared himself to be three persons in one. Amen. So Satan infiltrated church. Oh, yeah. And the devil has
have had much success. Oh, yes. 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 Viewers, I want you to get this. Look closely at your church with the lens of the book and see can you detect Satan. That's right. See can you find Satan. That's right. He's there. He's in your mosque. He's in your synagogue. And if he's in the mosque and in the synagogues, I know he's in churches. Oh, yeah. The position mm -hmm. that Satan want, he declared in the book of Isaiah that he want to sit among the congregation. That's what he said. That's what he said. I want to dive into this so we can get Satan's location. That's right. We want to get our map and find him on the GPS. Find him out. And then let's talk about what he done. That's right. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen. In the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and begin reading at verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven? O Lucifer, how art thou fallen from heaven? Now, brothers and sisters, we have been taught through the years by so many of Satan's servants, <laughs> and that's what they were, and that's what they are, Satan's servants. That's right. That the devil always exists. No, the only one that always exists is God. God. That's right. The devil was created. That's right. And... Being that he was created, the Lord said, I create good and I create evil. Mm -hmm. At one time, Satan, yes, was in heaven. Was in heaven. And heaven was unclean in the eyes of the great God of heaven. That's right. And the Lord our God put Satan out, and when he was cast out, one messenger said, I beheld Satan. Mm -hmm. Fall from heaven as lightning. Lightning. That's quick, isn't it? That's quick. Satan comes out of heaven mm -hmm. being removed by the holy God. That's right. But Satan's ideology mm -hmm. that he had in heaven, he made himself or wanted to make wanted himself to. a rival. That's right. That's right. To the Almighty. I first want to read Satan's thoughts. His thoughts. Isaiah His chapter thought 14. process. That's right. And if you find out the devil's thought, you will better understand why your preacher think <laughs> the way he do. Amen. Because when Satan was put out of heaven, everything that was of him came to earth. That's right. His thoughts. His character, mm -hmm. his behavior, mm -hmm. his attitude, his objective, his motive, his wickedness. Yeah. And when it hit the earth, John said, whoa. 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 To the inhabitants, to the inhabitants of, the of the earth. And of the sea. John said, whoa, what's the matter, John? Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. There was a germ yeah. put out of heaven. That's right. Satan is equivalent to a virus. He corrupt that which is good and make it evil. Preacher. Those that turn to the right, Satan turns them to the left. Go ahead, man. Those that's walking forward, Satan makes them go backward. That's right. Many of you that used to believe truth, now you believe a lie. Believe a lie. Satan, the one whom the preachers are downplaying mm -hmm. by saying he don't have no power, no more than what you believe. Right. If you don't believe it, 
he still have power. Oh, yeah. Listen, you may not believe that you're going to get a ticket when you ride through the state of Virginia doing 100. You keep riding. That's right. Now, if anyone ever been through Virginia, they can say amen. Yeah. Them boys in Virginia don't play. That's right. They don't care if you don't believe they'll get you. <laughs> Sometimes you go by one car, you're laughing. Oh, you thought you had me. But he's calling down the road. Yeah. Playing a trap for you. That's right. Satan. Satan. The devil. Yes, the spirit that now work in the children of disobedience. That's right. Satan, the devil, the devil. a spirit that's opposite from the spirit of God. So yes. therefore, there's none good but one, and that one is God, yes. and Satan is the evil one, the wicked one. The wicked one. Let's look at his thought pattern now. Isaiah chapter 14 and at verse 13. Listen. For thou hast said in thine heart. That's where it begins. Right there. Yeah. Right there. In the heart. Now. Thou hast said where? In thine heart. But your heart don't have no lips. How can it speak? Yeah. Satan. He had a certain feeling. Yes, he did. And what he felt mm -hmm. first began with what he thought. That's right. The heart becomes one with the mind. That's right. Then the body demonstrates what the mind think, mm -hmm. what the heart feel. Mm -hmm. Evil started where? In thine heart. This give us clarity why the Lord said the heart is the most deceitful thing. And then he called another characteristic. Yeah. It's desperately. Desperately. You get a person that's desperate. They have no boundaries to what they try to do. That's right. Listen good. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. Not that I'm going to try. I will. This shows you he's a determined evil spirit. That's right. I will ascend into heaven. Ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. You see, notice God is not offering to exalt him. No. Self-exaltation, mm -hmm. the thought of self-exaltation mm -hmm. originated in heaven. In heaven. It originated where one was already exalted. That's right. That's right. That same attitude oh, yeah. is right here today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. If churches in the world was humble mm -hmm. and believed the Lord our God, Amen. there wouldn't be an exalted person from pulpit to the door. That's true. That's right. He that exalts himself shall be a base. That's right. Let the Lord exalt you. Let the Lord, do it. Let the Lord put you where he wants you to be. That's it. Let the Lord place you where he wants you to be. That's it. Let no man think no higher than he ought to think. But think sober. Think sober. That's right. It is written, let not arrogancy come out of thy mouth. Amen. Go ahead, man. America is an arrogant country. Arrogant. Very arrogant, very high minded, and the fear of God is leaving house after house after house. That's right. That's right. You say, in God, we trust. Amen. He's a liar. That's a lie. That's a lie. If America trusts God, mm -hmm. you will bring prayer back in school. Yes, sir, yes you would.
Notice when God is removed out of anything. Yeah. That thing falls apart. Oh yes. It becomes corrupt. Yes. It becomes evil. Yes. It becomes full of wickedness. Full of wickedness. That's right. God removed out of schools. Corruption overtake them. No prayer. No prayer. So now, guns, yeah. drugs, oh, yeah. prostitution, yeah. homosexuality, yeah. teachers raping students. Amen. That's right. Why? They threw God out. They threw God out. They threw God out of what is called church. Amen. They don't want to call it church today, so they call it center. A center. <laughs> That's right. A center. A worship center. Yeah. Jesus said, upon this rock I build my what? My church. church. They don't want to call it church because it reflect what God wants too right. much. But when you say center, center. it downplay discipline. That's right. It downplay order. Yeah, it right. downplay rule. It downplay strictness. Amen. But if I say center, center. anything goes. That's right. That's right. Do anything. Amen. Preach anything. Preach anything. Say anything. Amen. And don't have to answer to nobody. That's right. But when I say church, oh yeah. There's a rule. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Oh yeah. When I say church, mm -hmm. there's a rule now mm -hmm. that I got to follow it. That's right. Judgment would I lay to the line. That's right. Righteousness would I lay to the plumbing. Mm -hmm. Hell shall sweep away the refuge of liars. Mm -hmm. so when you say church. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about something got to govern it. That's right. So Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. My church. Amen. See, you threw God out. Yeah. Amen. It's not God's church no more. Mm -hmm. So when you have the absence of God, mm -hmm. now church become filled with the tradition of who? Man. Who? Man. Who? Man. Who? Man. Are you listening? That's right. I want to take my time and soak it. Amen. Let's read quick and see where the devil wants to sit, sir. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Yes. I will sit also. I will sit also. Upon the mount of the congregation. Upon the mount of the congregation. He wants to elevate himself. In the sides of the north. He wants to elevate himself. That's it. Now, brothers and sisters, That's it. this is an elevated location here. Yes, it is. Satan mm -hmm. has filled the pulpits of America. Oh, yeah. Tradition mm -hmm. has came to remove the commandments of God. That's right. And Jesus taught us, thus have ye made. made the commandments of God of none effect by your tradition. That's right. And Jesus said, you're hypocrite. hypocrite. Because Jesus promised us, mm -hmm. ye shall know the truth. Right. Didn't he? That's right. He said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Shall make you free. free. Now, <clears throat> I want to look at mm -hmm. men's tradition. Men's traditions. What men put in church. Right. And what the Bible said. Yeah, right. We want to compare. That's right. Comparing I want to take my time and soak you because the Bible justifies me in doing so. Yes, it does. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter Follow two. me, follow me, viewers, and you that are here, mm -hmm. you hard-head, stubborn thing. Follow me. Amen. Put your beard down and follow me. That's it. 
That's it. Give chapter and verse, William. First Corinthians chapter two, when we're at verse thirteen. First Corinthians two thirteen, and the book says, "Which things also we speak." Which things also we speak? Not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Now, man wisdom and God wisdom differs. Amen. God wisdom is the supreme wisdom. That's right. There is no wisdom equal to God. Mm -hmm. There is no wisdom greater than the wisdom of God. Amen. God wisdom is infallible. God wisdom is perfect. Mm -hmm. God wisdom is flawless. Oh yeah. Amen. And in order for one to understand the things of God, mm -hmm. God has to convey it to him. Oh, yeah. Open up his understanding. Amen. And when God opened up his understanding, those who he chose That's it. to understand him, That's it. he would give them an ability, if he chose, if he chose. to express him. Amen. <laughs> you have to be able to express the wisdom that you receive. Oh, yeah. Because the spirit speaketh expressly, expressly mm -hmm. and one must be able to express the wisdom of God. Yeah. Amen. How? By allowing God to speak in him, out of him, right. through him. That's it. So the man or the instrument become Hallelujah. a puppet. That's right. Nothing but a puppet. That's it. Used for God's glory, mm -hmm. but for him to stay focused yeah. and submit himself to the using of God mm -hmm. he cannot allow himself to be distracted by anything mm -hmm. now many of you fellows watching us and many of you people that go to these churches mm -hmm. many of you know some of you preachers you was pretty good right. you were strict you was firm you didn't love money mm -hmm. you wasn't worrying about wealth and prosperity but then when you move out of that, what they call storefront church, and then your congregation got bigger and bigger and bigger. Things begin to change. Yeah. Something happened. Something happened. They swerved. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. The scripture says how they swerved. Swerve. You ever been driving? You know, in this time of year, they got potholes all in the street. Yeah. And sometimes that pothole run up on you unexpectedly and you're forced to swerve real quick. That's right. Now let's get Bible for this. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and at verse 6. Listen. From which some. From which. Some. Having swerved. Having swerved. Have turned aside. They did what? Turned aside. They turned. Turned. You went another way. That's right. You swerved. Swerved. The things that you used to believe, Hallelujah. you don't believe it no more. That's right. Hallelujah. Your organization, you're more loyal yeah. to your organization mm -hmm. than you are God's word. That's right. Our loyalty is supposed to be for Jehovah. That's right. Our loyalty is supposed to be towards the I am that I am. Amen. Our loyalty is supposed to be to the God of heaven and earth, even if the organization throw us out. That's right. I'm going to be loyal to God while I'm out. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Viewers, mm -hmm. you have rules in the church mm -hmm. and you have doctrine. That's right. I want to show you the difference between the two. That's right. Rules, doctrine. Mm -hmm. And this is where the devil has crept into the church. Where people have made rules into doctrine. Mm -hmm. Now, to give you a better understanding, the question is, what is doctrine? What is doctrine? Give me Acts, mm -hmm. second chapter. Second chapter. Mm -hmm. And we'll get the doctrine there, and then we'll get 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter. That's right. Acts 242 says, And they continued steadfastly. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine i want to deal with doctrine doctrine let's deal with doctrine right let's get the book of timothy that's right that's and then right. after timothy i want to get romans i'm ahead yes. of you amen because if anyone bring not this doctrine that's right 
Now, yeah. the apostles' doctrine, mm -hmm. what the apostles' doctrine, it was called the apostles' doctrine right. because it was a teaching taught to them. Right. And the teaching that was taught to the apostles mm -hmm. was the doctrine of God. Amen. That's right. In the book of 1 Timothy. I want to certify as I go, I want you to listen real well. Right. We're dealing with doctrine. Doctrine. Doctrine mm -hmm. is that which is of a necessity. That's right. Doctrine is that which is written in the scriptures. That's right. Doctrine is that which is written a full time for our learning. For our learning. Doctrine is that which been written, spoken by the Lord first. That's right. Amen. It was spoken by the Lord first. Mm -hmm. Then Amen. it was confirmed unto us Amen. by Amen. them that heard him. That's it. Doctrine can be found in your Bible. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's written. Written. Not made up. Mm hmm Mm -mm. Not I, not no idea, no. not I assume, not I think. That's right. Now, you have rules. Mm -hmm. Let's finish up doctor. Let, let's, let's get Timothy. Sorry. First Timothy chapter 6 and we're at verse 3. I want to take my time and give you a gut full. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to show you what men have made doctrine. Mm -hmm. I want to show you different rules that churches have mm -hmm. that they made doctrine. Right. In other words, they told you you would go to hell if you don't do it. That's it. Now you're making it a doctrine. That's right. Huh? That's right. Because you can't put nobody in hell for anything that God himself didn't put you in hell for. That's right. Let me make an example. Sometimes you churches, you do things for your preacher. And sometime you may, uh, let me make an example, uh, Creflo Dollar. Mm -hmm. This is a good example. Mm -hmm. He made international news and he want his church to raise and buy him a private jet mm -hmm. for $65 million. Amen. Even when as far as making a little five to six minute commercial mm. and put it on internet. Mm. Now, when men try to make something foolish like that doctrine, doctrine. is when they say, if you don't contribute mm -hmm. to this jet mm -hmm. that the man of God won, Amen. right then they really emphasize the man of God. The man of God. Then you're liable to go to hell mm -hmm. or you may be lost because you didn't do what the man of God say do. That's right. He's trying to make his lust mm -hmm. doctrine. Yeah. Now do you understand what I'm saying? That's right. What if God says what in Timothy? First Timothy 6 and verse 3. If any man teach otherwise. If any man teach otherwise. And consent not to wholesome words. Homesome, homesome. You know when someone is a homesome cook, they're a good clean cook, all the ingredients is right and fresh. That's it. Huh? That's right. It's good, isn't it? Good. If any man teach otherwise. Teach otherwise. And consent and not, consent to, not wholesome to wholesome words. Even wholesome words. Wholesome words are clean words. That's right. Clean words are the spoken words of God. That's right. Can't be no more wholesome than that. No. Even what? Even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and to the doctrine. To the doctrine. Which is according to godliness. Now, God's doctrine. God's rules, right. God's orders mm -hmm. are according to him. Oh, that's it. It's to elevate you and teach you his way. That's right. Holiness is the way of God to teach you how to follow God, obey God, submit to God, learn the mm -hmm. ways of God, mm -hmm. learn the teachings of God, mm -hmm. learn how God wants things done. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Amen. That's right. How God want things done mm -hmm. when you learn how God want things done mm -hmm. you can compare that mm -hmm. to how man said to do it to do it that's right oh, take God are you listening to what I'm telling you? that's right man implement rules now don't misunderstand me 
Nothing wrong with having rules in your church. As long as they don't contradict the word of God. The words of God. Many organizations have what is called a disciplinary book. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But none of the rules in that book can contradict the words of God. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Now, I want to compare. compare. Let's go back to that. Back in 1 Corinthians it's 2 It's time to do 13. some comparing because the devil has crept into the church. Yeah. That's why he's called the serpent. That's right. He has slithered his way right into the pulpit. Yeah. And the pulpit have raped the doctrine of God, mm -hmm. but yet implemented their own idea, their own philosophy, mm -hmm. and their own way. That's right. Now, many of you that are watching and listening to me now, a lot of things going on in your church is called a hand-me-down doctrine. Amen. Let me say it again. Mm -hmm. Hand-me-down doctrine. Oh, yeah. They got it from their bishop. Right. Who got it from his bishop. Oh, yeah. Who got it from his bishop. Mm -hmm. Who got it from his bishop. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of all this stuff being handed down from one generation to the other, no generation thought to question yeah. what was being handed down. Amen. That's right. Nobody checked it out. Nobody. That's right. And in some cases, they couldn't check it out because they did not know the Bible. Amen. Oh, but when understanding comes, oh, yeah. glory to God. Glory. When understanding comes, understanding makes straight the yeah. pathway. That's right. I don't have to now go along to get along. Oh, yeah. Now I can stand up. Amen. And ask, mm -hmm. why did you do this? Yeah. Where is it in here? Oh, yeah. Now the preacher can't tell me, believe it because I That's say it. it. Right. Can't tell me that no more. That's right. Because God teaches me to believe it when it's written. When it's written. Yeah. Jesus said, believe on him. As the scripture as. says. Notice. As, as the, scripture. the scripture has said. Mm -hmm. So, that's why we don't celebrate Easter. That's why. Because Jesus told us to believe on him as the, as the scripture has said. So, if the scriptures did not say it, we don't believe it. Right. The scripture did not say it, he rose on Easter. Mm -hmm. And Jesus plainly said, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them. Search the scriptures. That's right. You better start looking. Right. You search. better start finding. Search. You people have took for granted that your reverend was right. That's right. He screamed, you screamed. Yeah. He jumped, you jumped. Mm. He slapped his hands on your head and you fell out. Yeah. And rolled over. Mm -hmm. But you have never asked, is this in the scriptures? The scriptures. That's right. Let's read comparing and then let's begin comparing. Everybody all right? Amen. That's what the Holy Ghost brought tonight. I'm yes. telling you, thank God it's all in, it's all in me and I <laughs> want to give it to you. First Corinthians 2 and verse 13. And I want all of you Pentecostals, especially you apostolics. And Buddhists and Baptists, a lot of folk criticize me and say he talk about religion. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. The reason why I talk about religion, because I'm obeying what Jesus said. Right. Search the scriptures Search the and scriptures. I'm looking for you. Yeah. Eh? Searching for you. I'm looking for you. Mm -hmm. I want to find out where you're located. Yeah. Uh, you say that God, you, 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 uh, GPS, belief only. <laughs> eh? I right. believe what's written. Eh? That's this, it. this is my navigation system. That's right. And I want to find you. Amen. I, and if I can't find you, I want to know how you came about. That's it. Who gave you the right? Mm -hmm. Who started you? Who started you? Who spoke to you? Amen. Where are you located in the book? That's it. You can't blame me. That's right. Search it. Search it. God advised us. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Don't take what hallelujah. Don't take what they say. That's right. Search it. Search it. Find it. Oh yeah. Even when the apostles was here, mm -hmm. they went searching Amen. to Amen. find out where those things so. That's right. Hallelujah. You want to know why the truth of God stands so bold Amen. and so firm Amen. without fear? Yeah. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. We searched it. That's it. There is no 
corrector like God. No. And what God does is correct Amen. that which have deviated Amen. off the original path. That's right. Church have deviated off the original path. Mm -hmm. God laid the foundation, laid the foundation. Yeah. and the apostles built on the oh. foundation that God laid. That's right. Other foundation can no oh, man lay. No man lay. No. Then that it's which is laid. That's it. So when any preacher, glory to God, glory to God. Amen. Any preacher come along any. professing anything. Mm -hmm. You have to build on the same foundation That's right. that the apostles built Amen. because Jesus Christ himself mm -hmm. is the chief the cornerstone. cornerstone. And all the builders got to use the same scriptural material. Amen. That's right. Same order, same material, same, material. same blueprints, mm -hmm. same teaching. That's right. Everybody all right? Amen. 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 Listen now. Which things also we speak. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 2 and at verse 13. What is it? Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Yeah. Comparing. Wait a minute. Comparing. Spiritual things. Spiritual things. With spiritual. Amen. You know, before anyone buy a car, they do comparing. Comparing. If they want to save gas, they're comparing mileages and how it handles on the road, mm -hmm. the features that is in it. Mm -hmm. Now they got cars that park for you. Amen. Especially for those who can't park. <laughs> they even got cars that stop when they get close to something. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> They got cars that show you a little image in your mirror because there's something riding up on your blind spot. Right. Certainly. They got cars now that almost it talk back to you. That's right. But let us remember mm -hmm. everything that man put together yeah. have bugs. Oh, yeah. And then before you know it, a recall is made. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we have a God mm -hmm. that never have to recall his message. Amen. There's never a recall. Never. So viewers, mm -hmm. get ready now. Mm -hmm. And you that are here. Amen. Doesn't matter what you call yourself, what so-called denomination or religion. Amen. We're going to compare. Yeah. That's right. mm -hmm. We want to first begin with the so-called apostolics. Right. I say so-called because the term apostolic was coined by the Catholic Church mm -hmm. and the Lord Jesus have never taught the apostles of faith no. and then named it after their title no, no. and called it a apostolic faith. That's right. I know there's many explanations floating around. It says it means we believe, preach, and practice what the apostles believe, preach, and practice. Mm -hmm. All right, but what was the teaching of the apostles that they were practicing? That they were practicing. What was the apostles' faith? What was their faith called? That's it, that's it. That's what I'm asking. That's what you're asking. Huh? That's right. Glory to God, Jews. glory to God. Amen. I'm asking mm -hmm. the faith that the apostles had in God. In what in God. did the Bible call it? That's it. That's it. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Did you hear what I said? Amen. The faith that the apostles had, had. in God. That's it. The trust they had in him. That's it. Glory to God and they believe what he told them. Amen. He God, the flesh, God was in that flesh yeah. and the flesh which was the son of man died, mm -hmm. come back and when he came back mm -hmm. then opened he. You understand it. They understand. Right. So if they understood. Hallelujah. And they did. And they did. Or it take God, even it's written, mm -hmm. the former treaties have I made with the awfulness of mm -hmm. all that Jesus to do and teach. began both to do and, and to, to teach. teach. Unto the day which was taken up after that, he through the Holy Ghost had given the commandments to the apostles. Now hold it. Go ahead. He will not give commandments mm -hmm. to unbelievers. No. Oh no. What 
was the name. What was the name? Hallelujah. Of the faith. Of the faith. That's it. That the apostles had. That's it. According to this. According to this. That's right. I want you to email me. Amen. I want you to call. Me. Amen. Don't tell me what your bishop said. You know? I want the chief shepherd yeah. and bishop of our soul. Oh yeah. What? What? Is the name? That's it. Of the faith, faith. of the apostles. That's it. According mm -hmm. to the scriptures. Amen. Amen. If it's apostolic, I would love to read it. Love to read that. And you won't have no argument out of me. No. If the scriptures called it Jesus only, mm -hmm. well, the Bible said they saw no man save Jesus only. I agree. They let you know they didn't see no one else but Jesus. But was that the name of the faith? The faith. That's it. What is the name of the faith? The faith. What heading does it have? In Jude chapter 1 and at verse 20. But ye beloved. Talking to the chat. But ye beloved. You. Amen. You. You. Glory to God. That's it. Beloved. The church. The body. That's right. But ye, ye beloved. Building up yourselves. Building up yourselves. On your most holy. On your most holy. What kind? Holy. What kind? Holy. Holy what? Faith. Amen. Amen. Now that's what the apostles had. That's, that's what they had. Why holy was their faith called holy? Holy, holy faith. Because the highway they was on that's it. was holy. That's right. Highway shall be there. And a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And a way. And it shall be called. Shall be called. The way. The way of holiness. Of holiness. The Lord says. Be ye holy, be holy. for I, I, the Lord, your God, am holy. That's it. Why would God be holy Amen. and then call his belief mm. something else? That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. It's a holy teaching. Yeah. It's a holy faith. Holy faith. The doctrine that was taught to the apostles mm -hmm. was called apostles' doctrine mm -hmm. because men held it. Yeah. And those men was commissioned yes, to go out and spread a doctrine that came from the head apostle. That's right. Jesus. Jesus. That's right. But the faith, the faith. that Jesus had. Amen. Holy. Was holy. Holy faith. His holy faith Hallelujah. Hallelujah. brought about a doctrine. That's right. Preach they live by a doctrine, Preach but they think faith was holy. That's it. That's it. That's it. It was not called apostolic faith. No, no. It was holy faith. Holy faith. And from a holy belief, mm -hmm. there's a doctrine in the midst of it. That's right. Eh, That's right. There's a doctrine in the midst of my faith. And they continue. In fact, the doctrine of the apostles build up my holy faith. That's right. That's right. The doctrine of the apostle builds up my holy faith. Holy faith. Yes, sir. Amen. Are you listening? Building up yourselves. Building up yourselves, hallelujah. On your most holy faith. All right. Amen. Comparing. I'm comparing. Comparing. It was said for years among the apostolics mm -hmm. that Jesus only baptized mm. his 12. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, you should have been in Columbia a few weeks ago. When revelation hit from on high. Oh, yeah. I mean, it hit while I was preaching. While you was preaching. The Lord made me see something. That's right. That I'd never seen. That's right. That's right. I thank thee, O Father. Amen. Lord, hallelujah. Of heaven and earth. Glory to God. For thou hast hit these things. Hallelujah. From the wise. Amen. And the prudent. Oh, yeah. And hath revealed it. I'm just, I always want to stay a babe. Oh, yeah. So I can keep getting that grub. Getting the grub. 
Haven't you heard for years that the only ones that Jesus baptized mm -hmm. were just his 12? Just the 12. That's right. That's right. Amen. Let's examine this mm -hmm. first with the first chapter of Acts. Of Acts. Amen. Let's follow our GPS system. Then we'll go to the book of John. Amen. Is everybody all right? Listen. In the book of Acts chapter 1 and at verse uh, 5. All right. For John truly baptized with water. But ye Now shall... the apostle Judas died. Right. One had to be chosen in their place. That's right. In his place. Mm -hmm. And the apostles came together. They cast lots. Wherefore of these men. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. They cast lots. Meaning they voted. And they select two. Yeah. But God didn't need two at this time to take Judas' place. Right. He only need one more at the time. That's right. Now, before I go any further, mm -hmm. there are many of you out there who claim your pastor is an apostle. All right. And then when he died, mm -hmm. a bunch of elders get together. Yeah. Or bishops. Yeah. With some deacons and some brothers. Mm -hmm. And then y'all elect the next apostle. Right. We're going to compare. Comparing. That's right. We're going to compare. Comparing. Let's see what this says. Acts chapter 1 and at verse 21. Because if you had an apostle and he died and the next one come behind him, that doesn't mean you automatically an apostle. No. An apostle is God called, God sent, God made, God taught, God anointed. Yeah. God gave him divine revelation to go into the scripture and break down the scripture. God is with them. God appeared to him. God teach yeah. him. He is a student. That's right. Of Jehovah. That's right. He is a student Stu. of the Lord God of heaven and earth. That's right. God teaches him. God reveals mm -hmm. himself to him. To him. That's right. Now let's see mm -hmm. what happened in the first chapter of Acts. Acts chapter 1 and we're at verse 21. Listen. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and You better out, begin at verse 18. At verse 18. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity. And falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. Judas, he died. Yeah. Burst asunder and his bowels gushed out. And it, was, right? and it was known unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue El Sadema. All right. That is to say, the field of blood. Mm -hmm. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate and let no man dwell therein. And his bishop prick, let another take. Now hold it. So I'm saying, well, you just said the bishops don't elect. An apostle cover every office of ministry. Every office. Say an apostle, he's also a bishop. Right. But that don't mean a bishop is an apostle. That's right. Titus was a bishop. Yeah. But Titus was not an apostle. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a bishop. Yeah. Jesus was an apostle, an apostle. and a prophet. Yeah. Moses said, God can raise up a prophet like me and him shall you hear in all things. The Apostle Paul said, Wherefore, holy brother and partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the Apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. The Apostle said, We're looking for the chief shepherd and bishop of our soul, Christ Jesus. Yeah. The word bishop just simply means overseer. overseer. One that have the oversight. Right. That's all it is. That's right. So now, mm -hmm. let do one do what? And his bishop prick. His let, bishop prick. Let another take. Let another take his office. That's right. So the apostle, yes, he's also a bishop. He's a bishop. He's also an evangelist mm -hmm. because he's told to go into all the world. That's right. He's also a pastor yeah. because he's a shepherd. Yeah. He's also a minister mm -hmm. because he's sent to serve. Amen. He fulfilled every capacity of ministry there is. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Now listen at this. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us, all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. Now hold it. The twelve was not the only ones that was exposed to the teaching. No. The twelve was not the only ones oh, no. that was exposed 
to this holy teaching. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Look at the qualification that the ones had to have to even consider them for the apostleship. Wherefore, of these men, of these men, which have companied with us. Wait a minute, they was with us. Company, company they, with they us. They was around with us. That's right. When Jesus was walking the earth. That's right. They accompanied with us. All the time. Not some of the time. The reason it was important that they stayed around because if it was some of the time, they would miss some teaching. That's right. And if they missed some teaching, uh, they wouldn't be qualified. That's right. Because they may lie yeah. when they should tell the truth. Amen. Wonderful. Glory Wonderful. to God. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Amen. All the time. He had other disciples. Yes, he did. At the time, he only had 12 apostles. apostles. But there was other disciples Many. that were not apostles. That's right. In the book of St. John. Jesus had other followers. In St. John chapter 6. No, no, six. no. Finish up Acts. Finish up Acts, son. Don't jump ahead of me. Follow me. Wherefore don't, of don't, these... don't run ahead of the spirit. Amen. Follow what I'm telling you. Amen. Jesus had other disciples yeah. when he had 12 apostles. Oh, yeah. that, did you hear what I just said? Mm -hmm. It's just like we have other followers, yeah. but I have a certain amount of ministers. That's right. That's right. I have a certain amount of ministers. Right. But a lot of followers. A lot of followers. In South India alone, mm -hmm. we have close to 200 ministers. Mm -hmm. But we have over a thousand followers. Amen. Over a thousand disciples with about 200 ministers. Yeah. Jesus had 12 apostles at one time, mm -hmm. but many disciples, Amen. other followers in the midst right. of the apostles, That's right. getting the same teaching, mm -hmm. exposed to the same power, Amen. but wasn't given the same power. Mm. Wonderful, brother. They was in the midst Wonderful. to witness the power. To witness the sign, yeah. but it was only given at the time to apostles. That's right. Go ahead, man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Notice. Is everybody all right? Amen. I want to take my time and soak you. Come on, son. Wherefore of these men which have accompanied with us? Wherefore of these men that have accompanied us? All the time. All the time. That the Lord Jesus went in and out among us. When Jesus was in and out among us. When, they, mm -hmm. every, when Jesus was in and out among us, in regardless of where he was, there were some other fellows hanging around. Right. Eating up what Jesus was saying. That's right. Looking at his, appar his, his, his parables that he making. Oh, yeah. Looking at his signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. But it was important that they come starting at a particular time. That's right. What was it? Beginning. Beginning. From the baptism of John. That's right. Hallelujah. Why beginning from the baptism of John? Of John. Because that's where he laid an example right. of new birth. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because I'm going to commission these brothers later on mm. to baptize. Go ahead. And so in the future, and he's able to look down through time. Yeah. I got the, I'm looking at some other ones among me. Oh, yeah. Who going to do the same thing. Amen. So being that I'm leaving an example. You look at how I go down. You look at how John take me down. Yeah. You look at when I come up. Yeah. And then look at what come on me when I come up. That's right. I'm baptized. Yeah. The Holy Ghost come on me. Yeah. Now the apostles can preach. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But then there was other disciples. Other ones. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. That's right. Uh, that's how you do it. That's right. Leave an example. Go ahead, man. What did he say there? Beginning from the baptism of John. Beginning from the baptism of John. Unto that same. Day. They hung around from the baptism of John until when? Until that same day. Until the same day. That he was taken up from us. That he was taken up from us. Amen. Now. Hmm. Open it up. Hallelujah. If the twelve were the only ones baptized, how 
can the lot fall on Matthias without baptism? Good question, brother. That's a question, brother. That's a question, brother. How can you be an apostle? Go ahead. Because Jesus did, he baptized yeah. his disciples. His disciples. His disciples. That's right. And let me tell you something. John had a large following. Yes, he did. But did you know Jesus had more than John? Had more than John. That's right. A lot of folk didn't know that. That's right. Give me the book of John. Now in St. John chapter 4. And we'll start at verse 1. John chapter 4 and verse 1 says, When therefore the Lord knew, When therefore the Lord knew, How the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made, no, hold, hold. Amen. That Jesus made. made. Now you got to get the language of the book. Right. Jesus made something and, and he did something. Baptized. Jesus made something before he started doing baptizing. Right. You can't ignore the word made. Made. Can't ignore it. What was he making? Disciples. That's right. Jesus was making disciples. That's right. He had to make disciples. Amen. There's a separation in the language. That's right. Jesus did two things. Had heard that Jesus made. They heard that Jesus made. And. And. Baptized. Conjunction. That's right. <laughs> and he performed the deed and he baptized. That's right. That's right. And the ones that he made mm. would be the ones he baptized. That's right. Listen. Had heard that Jesus made. Jesus made. And baptized. And baptized. More disciples than John. He baptized what? Made and baptized more disciples than John. No, just 12. More disciples than John. He baptized more disciples. than John the Baptist did. More. That's right. That's right. That's why they was able to get Matthias and Bas Habas. Yeah. They already had their baptism. They already had it. Why? They was in and out of the company. In and out of the company. That's right. That's right. For them to even be considered. That's right. Now, the reason why it was important to get someone, mm -hmm. starting from the baptism of John, John also, to take the place of Judas because they had to be able to say mm -hmm. what Judas said. Yeah. I walk with him. Walk with him. I was among him. That's right. I was in the company. In the company. There were things I witnessed that his flesh do. Yeah. Go ahead. Amen. Are you listening? Beginning from the baptism of John. Getting from the baptism of John. Unto that same day. Right until the time that he was taken up. From us must one be ordained. Must one. They chose two. Right. But God only wanted one at that time. That's right. One to be ordained. To be a witness with us to of his resurrection. To be a witness with us of his resurrection. And they appointed two. They appointed two. Joseph called Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice, and Matthias. And? And they prayed. Uh-oh. These were apostles that chose two men. Right. Now, you don't read where Matthias was a bishop or a prophet or an evangelist or a pastor. No. But he was in the company of a master teacher. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Now, some of you fellas, when your so-called apostle die, automatically the, the next fella pick up the label apostle. Automatic. How did he become that? Amen. What kind of scriptures can he break down? Yeah. What kind of scriptures can he explain? Mm -hmm. Now, what you got going on in your churches? Read, just read anything real, real quick, Williams. And they prayed and, and said, prayed, "Our Lord." And says, "Our Lord." Which knoweth the hearts, which knoweth of, all the hearts men, of men. Show whether of now these two. No, that's not preaching. No. That's not preaching. And that's what y'all exposed to. That's right. Somebody read and then somebody scream <laughs> what it. the reader said. That's right. It's no need to scream what the reader said. Yeah. Explain that's what the it. reader said. That's it. That's right. Interpret. Break down. Make all men see. That's it. Otherwise, and that get out the pulpit. Amen. Go back to the book of John real quick because I got a lot to cover. Back in uh, St. John chapter 4 and at verse 1. Let's get this. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized, Jesus more, made disciples and baptized than John, more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself baptized not. Now I want you to look at this language. Mm -hmm. Though Jesus himself baptized not, which is a Hebrew expression, which is backward from English, we would say Jesus Christ baptized none. Mm -hmm. But it says, though Jesus Christ baptized not. But his disciples. 
His what? His disciples. And what did the Bible say about his disciples earlier? Had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples, more disciples. than John. More disciples. And Matthias and Barsabas was part of that discipleship. Yes, they were. They was part of it. That's right. And Jesus baptized his disciples. That's right. They were part of it. Though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples. Mm. Amen. They was part of the discipleship. Yes, they were. Or they God, he baptized more than John. More than John. Now. More. Compare. Right hands of fellowship. We're comparing. Comparing. Amen. Me and Brother Minister Jones of Columbia visit a church mm -hmm. in Columbia one Friday night, and I normally don't visit churches, mm -hmm. but we did a walk-in. <laughs> That's right. And I didn't know later on, I found out that people was tweeting and taking pictures of us while we were sitting there, and it went viral. Viral. <laughs> it was in an organization that called themselves the Holy Temple. And I looked and observed. And you know you better be careful hmm. when you say nobody can condemn me. Oh, yeah. A lot of the apostolic, as they call themselves, are traditional holders. Yeah. After the fella got through talking, the next brother came up and said, do anybody want to be baptized in Jesus' name? Lord. No one got up. Then he said, do anybody want to be fellowshipped into the church? Oh, Lord. Let's, let's deal with the right hands of fellowship. Amen. I want all of you here to get this because some of you are probably in churches that do the same thing. Yeah. Now, we are comparing. Comparing. Read, read comparing again. Comparing spiritual things. Give chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 13. What? Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. All right, let's first compare the way the church is doing. Mm -hmm. Most time when the preacher is up talking and supposed to be done, mm -hmm. he'll come before the congregation and say, is anybody here want to be the fellowship into the church? Right. Anybody want to receive the right hand of fellowship and be fellowship into the church mm -hmm. come here Carter and somebody like Carter <laughs> will come up and this is what the preacher will do you take his hand and ask him because some do it two ways he asks him brother why do you want to be fellowshiped in the church and Carter may say well I want to be saved when the Lord come I believe you have the truth and the preacher will say by the authority invested in me I extend unto you the right hands of fellowship that you may be faithful and dutiful that when the Lord come, he may also count you worthy to go back in. Now, many preachers do it two ways. After the preacher done it, this is one way they do it. After the bishop shake his hand, all of you ministers stand up. Come on, brother. Then the ministers will do it. Come on, I want to demonstrate this. Come on, one by one, shake his hand. All right, that's enough. He ain't in it yet. <laughs> now, are you listening to what I'm saying? Amen. We're comparing, is that comparing. right? Yeah. That's right. Have a seat, Carter. Now, they do somebody else. Sister Peggy, come here, sister. They get a sister. Mm -hmm. You got a sister now. That's my mm -hmm. sister Peggy. We want to give you the right hand of fellowship that you may be faithful and dutiful and when the Lord come, you'll go up. That's <laughs> it. And when she's done shaking Bishop's hand, either all the ministers come or this is another way they do it. The whole front row of brothers. Stand up. Come on, brother. Don't be so slow. Come on. Shake her hand. This is what they do. That's right. Now, a third way they do it, the whole congregation. My Lord. Now, after they shake your hand, Peggy, you're supposed to be in the church. Right. Are you listening? That's right. 
the apostle Paul said, we don't only preach in word, but in power and what? Demonstration. 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 We're going to compare Comparing. with what the church do. Amen. With what the church in the Bible do. That's right. We want to see who received it. And we want to see who gave it. Who gave it. Now, and we also want to bring out the scripture that you fellas are thinking of. What I say to one, I say to all. We want to see does that fit here. Does that fit? That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Come on, William. Let's go to work because the clock is ticking. In Galatians chapter 2, and we'll start at verse 1. All right. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas. Now, I want all of you listening and you that are uh, here to pay attention who accompanied Paul. Right. Who went up with Paul. That's mm -hmm. very important. That's right. Pastor Paul, born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, under the feet of God, Melia, Accord, taught according to the perfect manner of the law mm -hmm. God stopped brother Paul on his journey to Damascus Amen. and a voice spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue Saul saw why persecutest thou me he said who art thou Lord mm -hmm. and the Lord said I am Jesus why it, it, it is hard for thee to kick against the prick but he told him go to the street that is called straight and it shall be told you right. what thou oughtest to do mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul went down to the street that is called Street, and there was a brother, a disciple, yeah. named Ananias. The Bible didn't say he was a preacher. No. Just a disciple. A follower of the message that God later would cause Paul to preach. Mm -hmm. Laid hands on him that he may receive the sight. Mm -hmm. It is written that it fell from his eyes, as it were, scales. Mm -hmm. He was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus and went straightway, preaching that Jesus was the Christ. That's right. God made him an apostle. Amen. That same apostle said, if an angel come from heaven and preach any other gospel apart from what we preach, let the angels be cursed. Mm -hmm. As I said before, so say I now again, if any man come and preach any other gospel, let the man be accursed. Yeah. The apostle Paul preached the, the mystery of the spirit of the living God mm -hmm. by divine revelation. Yeah. Now here come this same apostle. Same After all this work, 14 years 14 later, years. God stops him. That's right. And bring revelation to him. Mm -hmm. You preachers have said, God revealed to Paul to get the right hands of fellowship. No. Bible didn't say that. No, it didn't. Are you listening? Amen. The preachers have said, preachers. God revealed to Paul right. to get the right hands of fellowship. Amen. The Bible didn't say that. No, no. Let's look closely. Then 14 years after, then 14 I went up years again to Jerusalem. After, I went up again to Jerusalem. With Barnabas. I want you to pay attention. Barnabas, another apostle. Right. Barnabas was an apostle. That's right. So you got Paul and Barnabas, two apostles. Two apostles. And what else? And took Titus with me also. And a bishop. Amen. You had Paul. Barnabas. Come out the tribe of Benjamin, Hebrew. Barnabas. Barnabas. A Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Titus, Titus. A Gentile. That's right. That's right. You had two Hebrews mm -hmm. and a Greek. Amen. Two apostles mm -hmm. and a bishop. Right. And this bishop accompanied Paul, mm -hmm. which reinforced that Paul was a preacher to the Gentiles. That's right. Because I got a Holy Ghost filled Greek with me now. That's right. I got a Greek with me now and I was baptized. Amen. And have the Holy Ghost Amen. as a result of the gospel that God gave me. That's right. Certified. 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 That the gospel that God gives me, it works. That's right. It works. That's right. All right. Then 14 years after, I went up, again, years to after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas. And took Titus with me also. And I took Titus with me also. And I went up by revelation. It was revealed to me to go up. Mm -hmm. It was revealed to me to go up and do what? And communicated unto them that gospel which the I The Bible preached. plainly told you what the revelation was. And The revelation was to go talk. That's it. Go communicate. Unto them. Now hold it. Mm -hmm. You didn't have apostles going up to communicate with bishops? No. So a bishop can examine no. an apostle? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Bishops. Brothers, Brothers, deacons, going to examine an apostle? An apostle. That's Amen. not the order of the church. No, it's not. You can't 
examine the apostles because God put them in deep water. That's right. Too deep for you to examine. That's right. Why are you trying to figure out the scripture? God came from Teman. He'll yeah. tell you where is Teman. Right. And what is Teman? That's right. Deep water. No, the bishops don't examine the no. apostles. No way. No, the bishop don't give right hands of fellowship. No. To an apostle? No. Amen. Am I right, brethren? Amen. There's order, order in the church. That's right. Listen. And I went up by revelation. I went up again by revelation. And communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles. Now hold it. The apostle Paul, called and sent by God, mm -hmm. had Barnabas with him, yeah. Titus with him. Yeah. But then he met privately, privately with three more apostles. That's right. And he communicated with them. Mm -hmm. And that them was Peter, James, and John. That's right. The gospel that he was bringing to the Gentiles. Amen. But how did he talk to the apostles? But privately. How? Privately. Privately. To them. He didn't talk to a bunch of deacons and no. elders and the apostles wife and no. kids. And came out all of them going to examine him. No. No way. Privately. Privately. This is the holy faith. Amen. This is what we believe. That's it. And therefore, have I spoken? <laughs> That's right. Listen. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles. But what? But privately to them which were of reputation. Now, it was revealed to Paul to go talk. And if Paul would not have obeyed the revelation, the running that he had done would have been in vain. The running he was doing would have been in vain. The running he was going to do, all of that would have been in vain if he would have been disobedient to the revelation. And the revelation was communicate to them that gospel. That gospel. Because they had the gospel before you. That's right. All right. But neither Titus who was with me being a Greek was compelled to be circumcised. Yes. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in. All right. They came in privately to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage, to whom we gave place by subjection, though not yes. to our power, that the truth of the gospel might continue with Come you. on, son. But of these who seem to be somewhat. Now the apostle Paul was not impressed with Peter, James, and John. No. He said, of these that seem to be somewhat. Whatsoever they were, it maketh no matter to it me. It didn't matter to me who they were, because I know God gave me the same thing he gave them. Mm hmm what is that? God accepteth no man's person. All right. For they who seem to be somewhat in conference. Oh, how did they talk? In conference. What did he feel? Added nothing to me. You can't add nothing to an apostle. It takes God to add to him. That's right. Huh? That's right. God add to him. That's right. You see, the people don't add to him. God add to him. God. Mm -hmm. Come on. But contrary wise, when they saw that the Lord, gospel. When they saw. They saw. Now that they was Peter, James, and John. James and John. Now listen, viewers, and you that are here, you have five apostles and one bishop. That's right. Paul, Paul. Barnabas, Barnabas, Peter, mm -hmm. James, mm -hmm. John. John, Titus was the only bishop, Right. and all of them was in conference. That's right. They wasn't there to examine what Titus had. No. no. And Titus no, wasn't there to examine what they had. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's right. The revelation didn't come to a bishop to go talk. No. The revelation came to the bishop's apostle That's right. to go talk. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. For they who seem to be somewhat in confidence, in confidence added nothing to me. But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto they me. They saw that the gospel that was given to me towards the Gentiles, I had that. As the gospel of the circumcision was As the gospel Peter, that Peter had towards Jews. For he that wrought effectually in Peter. He that wrought in Peter. To the apostleship of the, the circumcision. To the apostleship to Jews. The same. That same spirit that's in Peter towards Jews worked mightily in me toward towards all other ethnic groups. Uh, that's right. Now listen at this. And when James. Hold it. Amen. When James' wife. And when James. <laughs> Amen. When Deacon James. And when James. And remember, you only have five apostles up here. That's right. Barnabas, Paul, mm -hmm. Peter, James, and John. Right. And Elder or Bishop Titus. That's right. Now listen, after, they, after the three apostles checked out mm -hmm. what Paul was preaching. And when James, Cephas, and John. When James, Peter, and John. Who seemed, who to, be seemed to be steadfast. Perceived the grace that was given unto saw me. Saw the gospel that was given to me. They. Who? They. Who? They. Let me Amen. make this so plain. Make Stand up, Dick, Dan, Brandon. 
Amen. Read that again. Well, who done what? And when James, Cephas, and John, who seemed to be James, pillars, Cephas, and John right. perceived the grace that was given three unto apostles, me, mm -hmm. and you had Barnabas, right, and you had Paul, mm -hmm. that's right, and you had Titus, that's right. right. You understand? Yeah. And then when all of them was being Peter, James, and John, they got through examining Paul. Mm -hmm. What happened? They gave to me and they Barnabas. Gave to me and who? And Barnabas. And Barnabas. Barnabas. And Barnabas. Right. And Barnabas. Me and Barnabas. The right hands of fellowship. Yes, sir. That's right. Now. That's right. That's right. Amen. Just a minute. You said you got to be fellowshiped into the church and it's for everybody. Everybody. If it was for everybody, mm -hmm. why didn't Titus get it? Amen. Remember who came up with Paul? Barnabas. Barnabas. And Titus. And Titus. And Titus. Came up with Paul. That's right. Peter, James, and John all was in the meeting. That's right. But when it came time to get the right hands of fellowship, who gives it? They. And when Peter, James, and John. When Peter, James, and John. Perceived the grace that was given unto me. What happened? They gave they to me. Gave to me. And Barnabas. And Barnabas. The right hands of fellowship. Now, you liars said the fellowship put you in the church. Right. Paul was in the church above 14 years. 14 years. Above that. He was an apostle. That's right. He was already in there. That's right. The right hand of fellowship was to show they were in full agreement yeah. with what God gave them to the Gentiles. That's right. It's the same thing that we brought to the Jews. That's right. That's right. You said everybody got to have it? Everybody. What happened to Brother Titus? Well, that, that's right. You didn't get it, Titus. No. <laughs> But yet Titus was there. That's right. And took it Titus. was given from apostles yeah. to apostles. Right. What woman in the Bible Amen. received the right hands of fellowship? Yeah. Not one. Not one. You say it's for everybody? Not one ever. Then why did Paul, why didn't he give it to John's disciples? Right. It is written, after they heard this, they were baptized. That's right. In the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. He laid hands on them That's right. and they received the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. You don't read where he shook their hand. No. If it's for everybody, no. why didn't they receive it in Samaria? That's right. Brother Philip went down. That's right. Overthrew Simon. That's right. They sent for the apostles. Yeah. After they were baptized, lay hands, hands on, them. on them. They received the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Nobody in Samaria. Samaria got the right hand of fellowship. That's right. If it's for everybody, why didn't they get on the day of Pentecost? Amen. Peter stood up with the eleven. That's right. And said, "Men and brethren, yeah. what shall what do we take out? Yeah. They cried out, "Men and brethren, what shall we do?" That's right. Then Peter preached the baptism mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. Amen. Nobody got their hands shut. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. No one. So shaking hands. Go ahead. Don't get you in. Don't get you in. You want to know what true fellowship is? Amen. First epistle of John. First epistle of John. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Begin at verse 7. First John chapter 1 and at verse 7. The clock is ticking. Amen. And I'm not even tired. <laughs> That's right. I got so much to give you. Amen. And I'm going to try to give as much as I can. Amen. You have to get the cataracts off your eyes. Yeah. You are doing what organization been doing for years. Amen. And you have never stopped to ask no questions. Mm -hmm. Right? Hands of fellowship have never put nobody in the church. No. It wasn't made to put you it in the made church. For that. It wasn't made for nobody but the apostles. The apostles. Did you hear? Did you hear? That's right. It wasn't made for nobody, nobody. but the apostles. That's right. It wasn't made for nobody but the apostles. But the apostles. An apostle get it. An apostle receive it. Yeah. An apostle get it. An apostle receive it. Yeah. An apostle get it. Receive it. Get it. Receive it. Yes. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, that's right. the way God has it. That's the way he has it. Go ahead, that's, the way, that's the way he has it. That's the apostle's doctrine. That's the apostle's doctrine. That's the doctrine. Everything else Hallelujah. is tradition of men. That's it. That's it. 
giving babies, babies and boys, that's true, little girls, right hands of fellowship for what? Amen. It shows your ignorance. Yeah. You don't even know what it's for. What it's for. Oh, we following the GPS, yes. the navigation system. That's right. That's right. Preach it, brother. Amen. Churches have said Amen. that there were seven deacons yeah. in oh, yeah. the church. They said in the seventh chapter. Book of Six chapter. Six chapter, beg your pardon, of the book of Acts. Book of Acts. Amen. Was when the seven deacons was chose. Yeah. Is everybody all right? Amen. And that what they say? That's what they say. That's what Let's they say. go to the Bible. Acts chapter six, and start at verse one. Oh, this is wonderful. This is good. Amen. We're comparing. Comparing. Our church is doing it. Yeah. Versus what the Bible says. That's right. That's right. You've been saying for years the seven deacons were selected in the seventh chapter of the book or sixth chapter of the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Because when I was blind, I used to say the same thing. Amen. Until the great Jehovah opened up my understanding. Yeah. That's why we were able to drive a little bit further. Yeah. I don't want to ever get rid of my navigation system. Amen. Huh? Amen. Listen closely at the Bible. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen. Acts chapter 6 and we'll start at verse 1. What is it? And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied. The numbers. Mm -hmm. Now I want you to notice two things. Yeah. The numbers of the church. Mm -hmm. Members of the church begin to increase. Increase. Followers of the truth. Mm -hmm. Followers of Christ. Yeah. How do you follow Christ? Through teaching. That's right. That's how you follow. Amen. That's right. Through teaching. Yeah. If I'm not taught, I can't follow. No. No. All right. There, are, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Yes. Because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Be quick. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them. Now the apostles called the large multitude of these followers unto them. And said it is not reason that the we should be. The apostles was not going to stop their job yes, to go deal with widows and being neglected there was other people in, the, in, in among them that could handle that that's right they knew the most important thing for them was to preach the gospel that's right listen it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and uh -oh. serve tables look at the apostle we don't even have a reason have a reason to leave the word of God and serve tables wherefore brethren all right now this is what we advise you to do because we got more major things to deal with that's right wherefore brethren look ye out among you seven men of honest report no look ye out among you seven deacons seven men seven men seven men of, and what kind of criteria they got to have of honest report you let you you want someone honest because we already dealing with widows right Who's already vulnerable. That's right. And if you get some brothers that are honest, they won't take advantage of them. That's right. That's right. Seven men of what kind of report? Honest report. What else they got to have? Full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Glory to God. They need to be full of God. Full of the Holy Ghost. Eh? Full of the got Holy Ghost. Got to be full of God because they're handling people. Right. And if they got the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost will guide them to do it the right way and the right thing. And if they humble, they'll follow instructions. That's right. Wonderful. Why? Women were being neglected. Right. Who lost their husbands. That's right. They were widows. Widows. And the apostles wanted others to handle it, but mm. they laid stipulations. Yeah. Amen. And they were stiff stipulations too. That's right. Come on. Look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Full of the Holy Ghost. Full of the Holy Ghost. And wisdom. And they're not stupid. <laughs> Amen. You know how to talk in all them tongues, but you ain't got good sense, don't get him. No, don't, that's right. He's just a tongue talker. That's right. We don't we want someone that got some good sense. Good sense. They're intelligent, know wisdom. how to use good judgment. Amen. Because judgment have to be exercised because there were women who were in the body being neglected. Right. And we have to make sure everything is being straightened out. That's right. Come on. Whom we may appoint over this business. Well, who did it get? But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Be quick. And the same pleased the whole multitude. All right. And they chose Stephen. Now I want you to pay attention closely, viewers, and you that are here. Please play it, pay attention. Mm -hmm. They chose Stephen, or as some pronounce it, Stephen. Stephen. A man full of faith 
and of the Holy Ghost. Full of faith and the Holy Ghost. And Philip. Now, Philip. And Prochorus. Prochorus. And Nicanor. Nicanor. And Timon. Timon. And Parmenius. All right. And Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Whom they set before the apostles. They set these seven before the apostles. And when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. And then what? And the word of God increased. Now, when the Bible said the word of God increased, the word of God increased, that means they was added to ministry. That's right. Because the word of God increased, meaning increased. more now was able to spread it. That's right. There's two from this seven I want you to observe. Mm -hmm. First is Stephen. Now, Stephen. nowhere in the sixth chapter of Acts did it say they were deacons. No, nowhere. Churches said it. Amen. Your bishop said it. That's right. Your elders them said it. That's right. But we're going to find out what they were. What they were. All right, let's look at Stephen or Stephen first. Acts chapter 6 and at verse 8. All right. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Stephen. Stephen was what? Full of faith. Full of faith. And power. And power. Did great wonders. I let you know the apostles wasn't the only one that God worked wonders through. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Jennings, you think Stephen was an apostle? I know he wasn't. No. Seven men. Why? Why wasn't he an apostle, Pastor Jennings? Because an apostle lay hands on him. That's right. An apostle can't lay hands on a man and make him another apostle. No. It's God to make him God that. Do that. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen. And Stephen, full of faith Stephen and power. Stephen, full of faith and power. Did great wonders. Did great wonders. And miracles among the people. And miracles among the people. Amen. Now I want you to notice Philip. In the Acts chapter 21. I want you to notice Philip because again, they say that these were the seven deacons. Deacons. The scripture is going to give you clarity what office that they had. That's right. And Philip was among it. That's right. Listen. Acts chapter 21 and at verse 8. What is it? And the next day we that were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip. We entered into the house of Philip. The evangelist. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. That's just another Philip. Mm -hmm. That wasn't one of the, that wasn't the Philip in the seven. Right. That was Philip the evangelist. Right. Read on. And Philip the evangelist, which was one of the seven. No, Philip the deacon. Philip the evangelist. Philip the deacon. Philip the evangelist. Philip the evangelist deacon. The evangelist. Amen. What have God called Philip an evangelist? Which was one of the seven. So you don't read where none of the seven were called deacons. None. Of none. Them. none of them. None of them. That's where the devil infiltrated the church. That's right. And slung a lie in there. <laughs> That's right. And it been handed down for years. That's one of them hand-me-down <laughs> teachings. Amen. Hand-me-down teachings until some people have said, they went as far as saying, you got to have at least seven deacons in the church right. in order to be biblical. And right. the Bible never said how many deacons no. was in the church. No. Never said it. I want to dismantle it. Amen. Comparing. Comparing. Spiritual things with spiritual. Let's get the baptism. Amen. Many of you apostolics and Pentecostal and other sorts. Amen. Amen. You baptize mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Jesus name. We are comparing. Comparing. Notice it says as it is written. Mm -hmm. As it's written, as it is written, we are comparing spiritual things. As it, we're comparing spiritual things with spiritual. We're spiritual, mm -hmm. and we have to say it as it's written. As it is written. Therefore, have, we, have spoken. we spoken? That's right. You have to speak. The Bible says, "What well, some of the things that are written before time are written for our learning." We having the same spirit. Listen at the Bible in Second Corinthians chapter four and verse thirteen. Second Corinthians four thirteen says, "We having the same spirit. We of have faith. the same spirit of belief according according as it is written, as it is suggested, as it is written." I Idea. Written. Opinion. Written. Off the, uh, off the top of my head. As it is written. No, hand it down to me from my organization. As it is written. Hand it down to me from my bishop. As it is written. As I guess. As it is written. I had a dream. As it is written. As a nightmare. As it is written. I suppose. As it is written. Hallelujah. And when we go by what's written, then what's next? I believe. Then I gotta believe what's written, then what gotta come out of my mouth? And therefore have I spoken. Amen. Amen. I look at what's written. That's right. I believe it. Believe it. I say it. That's right. Written. That's right. 
Believe it. That's right. Say it. That's right. Richard. Amen. Believe it. Amen. Say it. Amen. That's good exercise. Exercise Richard. thyself. Believe it. That's it. Say it. That's it. Exercise thyself. Amen. Hallelujah. You feel us? Hallelujah. You have took your bishop's word. Go ahead, brother. That's not written. Not written. We're going to tear it up. Tear it up. It doesn't matter who Hallelujah. can ascend it. What do we care? Hallelujah. Break up your folly ground. Break it up. Amen. Amen. You say you got the whole truth? Mm. You're told a lie. That's a lie. There is no truth in the universe. Hallelujah. But God. That's right. And when it contradicts God, yes. it's wrong. It's wrong. I don't care if it's me. Mm. If I deviate from that book, Go ahead. I am wrong. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Many of you so-called apostolics have been baptizing in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's what the fellow said when he got up, didn't he? Anybody want to be baptized in Jesus' name? No, no such baptism like that no is in the Bible. Like you had Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm which is the savior of the world. Yeah. You have Bar Jesus, Bar Jesus, who the Bible said was a Jew, mm -hmm. name was Elimus. And the Bible called him a false prophet. False prophet. Then you have Jesus Justice, Justice, who was a fellow laborer with Paul. That's right. Then you have the name Joshua, or in mm -hmm. Hebrew is Hashua, because there are no J's in the Hebrew grammar. Mm -hmm. And Hashua in Hebrew is the name Jesus. Right. You have in the Old Testament the name Esau, or Isa yes. in Arabic, which is also the name Jesus. Right. Some of you baptized in Jesus' name, that's wrong. That's wrong. Some of you baptized in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that's wrong. That's wrong. Some of you baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ, that's wrong. That's wrong. So we say, well, how is that, Pastor Dennis? I use the name Jesus. Yeah. Give me a revelation. Mm -hmm. 22, 18. 22, 18. Then we get Acts 2, 38. 2, 38. Then we get Acts the 19th chapter. Yes. Revelation 22 and verse 18. Glory to God, I got the work tell. Amen. Do you, hear, do you hear this? For I testify unto every man. I just, that's what we're doing. Testify. Testify. Many other words that he testified, exalt, saying, save yourself. Yeah. I testify unto every man that heareth the words. Of the prophecy of this book. This is the book we're bringing you. That's right. This book. This book right here. This book. You can bring me your bishop all day. You bring me your bishop, I'll bring you this book. This book. I take this book That's right. over anybody, Bishop. That's right. I take this book, this book. over anybody organization. Amen. What is that? If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. If any, what else? And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, what did God, say going God to shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. All right. Let's first deal with adding. Yeah. Adding. That's right. Acts 38 says, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Is that right? Right. Amen. So if I add mm -hmm. something else, yeah. therefore baptize you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. The book says, just be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Now if I add, baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ, I'm adding. That's right. I'm adding more than what God said. That's right. Because God said exactly no more than what's appointed. What's appointed. As it is written, mm -hmm. I believe. Therefore, and have I spoken. I spoken. That's right. You have to say, Jesus Christ, don't add nothing else. Add nothing else. Or, as Paul did when he baptized John's disciples, mm -hmm. in the name of the Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Not just Jesus' name. No. Anybody that's watching and here now that been baptized just Jesus' name, you're not baptized. Not baptized. Give me Colossians 3.17. Whatsoever ye do. Colossians 3.17 says. Whatsoever ye do. Whatsoever. Whatsoever ye do. Whatever you do in word or, do, or, or deed, deed, do all. Do half of it. Do all. Some of it. All. Part of it. All. A little bit. All. Only what the bishop said. All. Hallelujah. Do all how? In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty Jehovah. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus' name. 
Lord Jesus. Jesus name. Lord Jesus. Jesus name. Lord Jesus. Jesus name. Lord Jesus. Anybody here and anybody watching and the preacher just baptized you simply in the name Jesus. Your Jesus. sins are still there. That's right. That's right. That's it. Lord they got Jesus. to go back. Got to go back. Well, Pastor, I don't know what the preacher said. That's not my problem. That's yours. <laughs> That's right. I'm building on a more sure word. Of prophecy. Sure word. That's right. Sure word. Come on back. Hallelujah. Come on back to what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. That's it. Follow the GPS system. Following. Comparing spiritual things. Comparing with spiritual. spiritual things. We're spiritual. We're All right, spiritual. I just want to get one more, and I want to knock off. I'm not finished, but Amen. I got to quit. Because we got to come back and start swinging on tomorrow. Yeah. Is everybody all right? Yeah. I'm not going to apologize for holding you. No, you, don't, you don't find the club apologize for keeping you. Go and take God, you better get this while you can. Oh, yeah. While you can. Now, let's talk about the Lord's Supper. Amen. Amen. The bishops have said mm -hmm. the Lord's Supper should be taken every Sunday. That's what they say. It should be taken every Sunday or every first Sunday. Right. That's what they say. That's what they say. And some of you that take care. Or the Lord suffer take it in the morning right now let us just use common sense absent of revelation that's right suffer don't apply to the morning no the Lord suffer it didn't say the Lord's breakfast no Lord supper supper don't mean morning no supper don't mean afternoon it didn't say the Lord's breakfast or the Lord's brunch that's or right. the Lord's lunch Am I right, I said? That's right. No, I didn't say that. Didn't say that. So now you have to deal with the time of day. Yes. And I know some of you are dumb enough to think that the Bible don't say what time of day, but it does. But in First Corinthians, you see, oh, just a minute, just a minute, don't go running, just a minute. The Bible lets you know the time of day. Yeah. Before we get into the time of day, let's find out what did they have in the Lord's Supper. Mm -hmm. Let's first find out what they had. Mm -hmm. Then you will find out, let's see what you had. Now, I know that many of you, uh, you have bread. And if you read the book of scriptures, they was already eating anyway. That's right. They was eating the feast of the Passover. Feast of the Passover. So all the ingredients for the Lord's Supper was right there. Right. They had the bitter herbs, they had the wine, and they also had unleavened bread. Bread. Uh -huh. It was commemorating how God spared the lives of their forefathers by passing over and sparing the lives of the firstborn when the death angel came in Egypt. And during the feast of the Passover, right. the Lord went to work. That's right. Now, let's look at what Jesus done. We're comparing. comparing. With the church you go to, viewer, Viewer, don't, don't leave the room now. You gotta go to the bathroom? All right, hurry up. Amen. You set? 
How you said? Don't go kissing her. Sit down and get this. Call your pastor. Call him. Call him. Don't worry about kissing your second wife. That's right. Call your pastor. Call him. Amen. That's right. It's danger. That's right. Serving the Lord's Supper in any other way from what's written. That's right. It's dangerous. Amen. Dangerous. We're going to show you all this with the book. That's right. Let's first find out what did they take. Now in Matthew chapter 26. This, this is good school tonight. Give chapter and verse again. Matthew chapter 26 and at verse 26. All right. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. Now hold it. Many of you take wine first. Hmm. <laughs> Let all things be done what? Decently and in order. You take the wine first wow. and the bread after. That's wrong. Wow. Someone said, well, how was that? Because the body was broken before the blood was shed. That's right. Hallelujah to God. The body was broken before the blood was shed. That's right. So if you drink before you take the bread, that performance is wrong. You are performing a lie. Go ahead. You putting blood before life. Right. You putting blood before the suffering of the body. You putting the shedding of the blood before the suffering of the body. And the suffering of the body was before the shedding of blood. That's right. Let, let, let's detail this. Detail. Go ahead, man. I want. I want to get. Are you getting this? Oh yes. Now you know why you can't run ahead. I'm on, son. And as they were eating, Jesus. Give chapter and verse again. Now in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. And as they were eating. As they were eating. Jesus took bread and blessed it. They was already eating. Right. As they were eating. As they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it. And break it. He break it. And gave it to the disciples. No, he did like the Catholics and just had a whole wafer and gave it to them. And break it and gave it to the disciples. And said what? And said, take, eat. This is my body. This is my body that was broken. Broken for thee. And I want to get the other scripture that says that. Right. I, want, I, don't want to, I don't want to overlook nothing. Right. He gave the bread and said, this is my body. My body. But he broke the bread first. Mm -hmm. Now, viewer, that tells me this. If your preacher is giving you bread in communion and don't break it, he don't honor the Lord's suffering. Right. If he give you bread and it's whole and he don't break it first, it's wrong. That's right. In fact, you're lying on the body. That's right. You're not discerning the Lord's body. You got to break it. That's right. If you don't break it, you're not taking it right. All right. Come on. And he took bread, gave thanks, and break it. Now, first prayer was made. Mm -hmm. You got to pray over it first. And gave unto them. And then gave it to them. Saying, this is my body which is saying, given for you. Saying, this is my body that is what? Which is given for you. That's given for you. This do in remembrance of me. Now, hold it. I want to give you some good knowledge. Yeah. The bread represent one performance of the body. Mm -hmm. The cup represent another performance of the body right and what was in the cup represent what came out the body that's right i want to say wait a minute the only thing represent the body was the bread no it's not no that's not the only thing no you had a cup and wine was in it right the cup was a vessel that's right. his body was a vessel mm -hmm. that blood was in yeah. and it was one cup which represented one body that was shed blood that's right Two different stages right. of one body. One body. Another place says what? And he took. Give chapter and verse. Now in Luke chapter 22 and verse 19. What is that? And he took bread and gave thanks. He took bread and gave thanks. And break it. And break it. And gave unto them. And gave unto them. Saying, this is my body. This is my body. Which is given for you. Oh, it's given for you. Given for you. It's going to be offered for you. This do. This do. In remembrance of me. You remember what I've done. That's right. Likewise. Likewise. Also the cup. The cup after supper, after supper, saying this cup, this these glasses, this cup. Give chapter and verse. 
Luke 22, now in verse 20. Now let's go back to Matthew. I want to get where he prayed over it. Mm -hmm. And then let's go back to Luke. Back in Matthew chapter 26 and we're at verse 26. I want to get all of it. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it. And what? And gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Uh -huh. And he took the cup. And took the cup. And gave thanks. Hey, uh oh, he prayed over the cup too? And he took the cup and now, gave thanks. Now many of you preachers, this is what you do. You lay hands on the cup and the bread and pray over it at the same time. Right. Jesus didn't do it that way. No, he didn't. He left us an example that we should follow his steps. That's right. You got to pray over the bread first yes. and then break that and give it. Then you got to come back and pray over the, over the, over the cup. Right. And then let, now you got the cup, let's get what was in the cup. Give me the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. Psalm 75 and at verse 8. Because some of you use grape juice, yeah. orange juice, lemonade, Nestle's quick, yeah. Kool-Aid, yeah. grape juice. Amen. What did the word of God say? Psalm 75 and at verse 8. For in the hand of the Lord. The, in, in, in the Lord's hand. There is a cup. There is a tray of glasses. There is a cup. What's in it? And the wine. The grape juice. The wine. Kool-Aid. Wine. Orange juice. Wine. No, a cup of cold water. The wine. The wine is what? Is red. Only time where you see Jesus had a cup in his hand was when he was serving the Lord's supper. Serving. Showing them of what to do. Right. He took the cup. Who did it? He took the cup. He took the tray of glasses. He took the cup. Now, I got a question. Amen. The tray of glasses which you bless. Hmm. Is, it is it the communion of the Lord? Yeah. Or is the cup that we bless mm -hmm. the communion of the Lord? Which but, one? Which one? Which one? The tray of glasses that your bishop bless is the tray of glasses, the communion of the Lord. Mm. Or is it the cup because. which we bless? Right. Is that the communion of the Lord? Let the scripture speak for us. First Corinthians chapter 10 and at verse 16. Glory to God. The cup. The cup of blessing which we bless. Of blessing which we bless. Is it not the communion? Is it not the communion of the blood of Christ of the blood of Christ that's right the cup that's the answer that's it that's the how answer. did your little liquor shot glasses get from the neighborhood bar in your church amen you old drunk amen amen Wonderful. now this is where the devil infiltrated church and brought the tradition of men and then brought an excuse and said, well, we're living in an educated society. And, and, and the reason why we use a tray of glasses, Pastor Jenny, is because uh, there are germs and people are not sanitary. Listen, there were more germs then oh, yeah. than it is now. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. So you're inexcusable. That's right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now. Let's get the time of day. Yeah. Whether it was morning or afternoon or night. Or night. First when night. it was served. That's you see right. how the Holy Ghost just get everything? Amen. All right, viewers, you so-called apostolic and Pentecostal and non-denominational communion takers. Yeah. You Catholics, you take communion practically all day. All day long. Always drinking, 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 drinking. And then the priest is in the AA. That's right. That, let, that alone let you know it was done wrong. Amen. You don't come at the communion table, didn't leave. No. <laughs> no. Pastor Paul said, when you come together mm -hmm. into one place, into one place. This, is this is not to take the Lord's, the Lord's Supper. Supper. He was comparing natural supper with spiritual supper. That's right. He said, what? What? Have you not houses to don't eat you have and to houses drink in? To eat and drink in or despise, or despise you the church of you God. God house. You don't come at the Lord's Supper to take the bread and the wine to be full. No. That's the spies in the spies church. Spies in the church. Amen. Glory right, to God. Let's see, what, let's see what time of day. 1 Corinthians 11 and at verse 23. All right, viewers, we're going to close out on this, God willing. For I received of the Lord that which also Wait I delivered. Wait a minute. 
Who did Paul get it from? I received of the Lord. Then you know it just has to be right. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. It has to be right. I received of the Lord. I got it from God. That which also I delivered unto you. That which I preached unto you. That the Lord Jesus. Listen closely. Everybody listen closely. Amen. That's right. What was it? That the Lord Jesus, the same night... When? In the same night. No, the same morning. The same night. Same afternoon. The same night. What happened the same night? In which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. Same night. And did what? And when he had given thanks, he broke it. He broke it? And said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. What time of day? Same night. Same night. Is it written? Written. Yeah. You that are watching me and you that go to these devil churches. That's right. Anytime they serve communion in the morning, don't take it. That's right. Now let's get what happened to anyone that take it wrong after they get this knowledge. Now when you don't know no better, you're not held accountable. That's right. But once you know better from the day on, go ahead. Go ahead. talk to me. Yeah. Come on, sir. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 27. What is it? Wherefore. Give chapter and verse again. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and we're at verse 27. Wherefore. Whosoever. Whosoever. Shall eat this bread. Shall eat this bread. And drink this cup of the Lord. And drink this cup of the Lord. Unworthingly. Not fit. Shall be guilty of the shall body. Shall be guilty. Of the body. Shall be guilty. guilty. Shall be charged guilty. Of the body. Of the body. And blood of the Lord. You're going to be charged guilty of the body and the blood. That got the bread and the wine. That's right. Amen. But. But. Let a man examine himself. Look at Don't look at nobody else sitting there. That's right. Oh, I, I know what she did. I know what he did. Worry about yourself. Examine himself. Examine who? Himself. Himself. Examine himself. You got three gods? My Lord. You should not be taking no communion. No way. You got Mary, God's mother? My Lord. You ain't got no business taking no communion. No way. You got a second wife? Amen. You ain't got no business taking no communion. Amen. You are homosexual. No business. Examine himself. Baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Believe in divorce. Examine himself. Let a man examine himself. Check. Now, if you examine yourself, you got to be examining yourself by something. That's right. So you got to be examining yourself by what's written. That's right. What the Holy Ghost said. But let a man examine himself. And what? And so let him eat of that bread and after drink you, of after, that cup. After, after your examination is done and you better not cheat. <laughs> That's right. You better not cheat. Amen. After you examine yourself, then what? And so let him eat of that bread. Then and let him eat of that bread. And drink of that cup. And drink of those glasses. That cup. No, those glasses. That cup. You liquor lover. That's right. Walk around with them shot of glasses. Shots Put up. that tray down. That's right. When they walk around with that tray of glasses, tell them no thank you. Amen. Amen. Hmm? That's right. Only one died for you. That's right. That's what that cup represents. One. One. Mm -hmm. Who all them cups represent? Amen. Who all them cups represent? The Lord. All them cups don't represent no one. Not one. Only one died. That's right. One offered for one through the eternal spirit. That's right. Come on, son. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily. He that eateth and drink and not fit. Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. By you taking that bread and by you taking that wine wrong. Mm. You know, God is a merciful God. Yes, he is. Because when we did not know, many of us were partakers of such. Amen. And the Lord testified, the Lord testified that he that eateth and drinketh unworthily did what? Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. He ate and drank what to himself? Damnation. What? Damnation. You was drinking and eating your way into hell. Mm. Amen. My Lord. You were sending your own self to hell. My Lord. Your preacher was aiding you to hell. My Lord. Amen. To himself. 
Do you see the danger of a false prophet? Amen. A false prophet is dangerous. Yes, he is. See, a lot of you feel as though that fella is right because he's related to you. He's your brother. He's your father. He's your cousin. He's your uncle. He's your nephew. When it comes to God, who is my mother, sister, and brother? But he that do the will of my father, which is in heaven, same. the same is my mother, sister, and brother. That's right. You care nothing about no relation? No, no. Spirit is thicker than blood here. Amen. Come on, son. Anything drinketh damnation to himself. What? Not discerning the Lord's body. You didn't pay attention to the Lord's body. That's right. All right, for, now let's get detailed. For this cause. For this reason. Many are weak and sickly. Hold it. I'm going running. Weak. 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 It can affect your spiritual strength and it can ex affect your physical strength. That's right. Many are weak. Many are weak. You run into the doctor, you don't know what's wrong with you. That's right. You discern, you didn't discern the Lord's body. Not discerning the you Lord. You dishonored it. That's right. You didn't respect it. That's right. Your preacher served you death. Amen. He served you damnation. Damnation to himself. Your pastor did it. Pastor Your so-called apostle did it. You apostolics yelling you got whole truth. And yet you got a tray of glasses. You're oh. serving damnation. damnation. That's right. You are serving damnation. Amen. Well, I know we right because Bishop so and so did it. Tell me, is your bishop higher than Jesus? Higher than Jesus. Tell me, is your bishop greater than Jesus? That's right. Tell me, is your bishop the savior of creation? That's right. I take what Jesus said, you take what your bishop said, and you are go to hell with your bishop. With him. The Bible is plain. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily. He, he, he. What's that word again? Unworthily. What's that word again? He that Wait eateth. a minute, what's that word? He. Who? He. Apostle. He. Bishop. He. Prophet. He. Mother. He. Organ player. He. Choir director. He. Trustee. He. Deacon. He. Acting deacon. He. Junior deacon. He. Assistant pastor. He. Diocese bishop. He. District elder. He. H E. That got everybody. Everybody. Amen. If your bishop serve it, and if you take it, yes, the tray of glasses is a lie. It's a lie. To give bread and it's not broken. It's a lie. That's right. To teach you got to take it every Sunday or every first Sunday. It's a lie. Man. It's no Bible that says it. No. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Not discerning your you Lord's apostolic God. liars. Amen. You come and get past the Genesis. Get I'll him. make you lick that junk <laughs> up. Right. I'll make you lick it up from Genesis to Revelation. Go it's ahead, a very God. easy thing very to do. Very easy. You know. That's right. Very easy. Listen. For he that drink, eateth and drinketh. Now you that claim your apostolic and Pentecostal, you watching this telecast, I know you are. Amen. I want you to go back and question your bishop. Don't you let him scream and yell while somebody is reading. Oh no, oh no. You go back and question your bishop. If you're honest and sincere and you really mean to get into the kingdom of God while it's called day. Hallelujah. Because when night come, no man can work. Go question your bishop. I don't care if he scream. I don't care if he yell. Don't care. Amen. Ask him, why are we doing this? That's why right. we got to trade glasses, Bishop? Right. Why are you praying over the wine and the bread at the same time? Right. Why are you serving it in the morning? Amen. And not in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Well, the reason why I'm serving it in the morning is because we got such a large congregation that everybody can't it can take it at night. Then you serve it at night, and then those that don't not there that night, then do it another night. That's it. That's it. Well, that got to be Sunday. The Bible didn't say so. No, no, no. Sorry about that. I'm going to show you what the Bible said. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 25. This do ye as oft as no, you No, every drink. Sunday. As oft as you drink. No, every Sunday. As oft. He just said do it as oft. As that oft. That means as often right. as you do it, you show forth the Lord's suffering. That's right. All right, thank God. If someone do it once a year, I can't say nothing if that's how often they choose to do it. That's right. As if they often. do it 10 times a year, I can't say a word. That's right. Because do it as often as, as often. you do it, you show forth the Lord's suffering. That's right. It didn't say do it often. No. As it often. said as often. As that often. means when you do it. That's it. That's it. He didn't say do it often. As often. He says as 
ass off, which ass means off. when you do it. When you do it. When you do it. That's right. When you do it. That's it. You show forth the Lord's suffering. Lord's, that's it. Good information. You don't break bread and, and you still eat it. Still damnation. It. Damnation to himself. You don't take wine. Mm -hmm. Damnation. Damnation. Tray of glasses. Mm -hmm. Damnation. Amen. You're not supposed to pray over the bread and wine at the same time. Amen. Right. You're not supposed to take the wine before the bread. That's Amen. right. Don't put the cart in front of the horse. That's right. That's right. Not discerning the Lord's body. You say you got the whole truth. My Lord, my Lord. This book here is the whole truth. Preparing. The truth that God wants you to know. That's it. Now, let me close out with feet washing. Real Amen. fast. Real fast. Huh? Amen. Come on. I want to open up each other and one another. Amen. St. John chapter 13. You got to make sure feet washing is right. Right. That's right. There's one another and there's each other. Amen. Let's get right to the point real fast because my time is moving. St. John chapter 13, we're at verse 13. All right. Ye call me master and Lord, and ye say, well, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Uh, you ought to do what? Ye, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. Now. The Bible says after he risen from supper, after, now he, girded, he girded himself with a towel and poured water in the basin and began to wash his disciples' feet. And Peter got to the point, he said, thou shalt never wash my feet. The Lord told him, uh, if I don't wash you, you won't have no part with me. Wow, that really shook Peter. Yeah. Uh, Peter said, look, uh, look, not, 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 not my feet only, but my head, my hands. What you mean? Listen, if, if it take every part of me to be washed, go ahead. Yeah. You do it. Jesus said, you don't understand what I'm doing now. Right. But you will hereafter. Hereafter. That's right. Even though they were apostles, mm -hmm. they didn't understand everything Jesus was doing. No. That's why after he died and come back, then open he their understanding. Right. And they got the revelation and the clarity That's right. of what he was doing. That's right. Now, notice what he said there. Ye call me master and Lord, and ye say, well, for so I am. What? If I then, your Lord and master, have washed your feet. And if I wash your feet. Ye also ought to wash one another's feet. All right. Let me close out with this. Some of you wash each other. Each other. And not one another. That's right. Big difference. That's right. He said you ought to wash what? One another's feet. That means if you wash one another, I wash Taylor. Taylor washed Jones. Jones washed Brandon. And Brandon washed Bowser. And Bowser washed King. And King wash right that's one another when you wash each other like you folk do is when i wash jones and then jones turn around and wash me this is why i ask how can you serve communion and wash feet of one person how can you serve communion to one person that's right that's right and don't wash their feet. Amen. Or if you do wash it, after you yourself took the wine and bread, who yeah. gonna wash yours? That's right. That's right. You can't do each other. Each other. You have to do one another. One another. One another. For I've given you an example. I made something up. I have given you an example. I gave you an idea. An example. The boss is talking and I'm not the boss. That's right. Jesus said. I have given you an example. I have given you a pattern. That ye should do. You should do. As I have done to you. Thank you for listening brothers and sisters. Now. It's time to get yourself right, you that are here. Some of you claim you're born again, and you're not. Some of you don't bow your head and raise your hands and claim you accept Christ, you ain't did nothing. As I often say, this position of your head down and hand up, we know it in the hood. You're being wrong. Your preacher got a false religion on your back. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. You're still an old raggedy sinner. That's right. 
If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and not in the name of Jesus Christ, like the word demands, demands. you're not a Christian. You're not saved. Mm -hmm. If you think you're saved through a sinner's prayer or the hour of decision, or you don't touch some television or some radio or some internet screen and thought the Lord clammed through the wires. Amen. Can't got in you. Amen. You've been conned. Been conned. The Bible said repent. What is repentance? It's when you're sorry about your wrong. That's it. And you're ready for change. You convicted within your heart about all your sins. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Bible says in Acts 2 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. No, Peter said, Join the church. Repent. Bow your head and raise your hand and accept Christ. Repent. The hour of decision. Repent. Prayer, sinner's prayer. Repent. What do everybody here got to do? Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. Who? Every one of you. You that are watching in Australia, <laughs> you that are watching in Japan and Canada and Europe. Yeah. You that are watching in Taiwan and Vietnam, in Vietnam, you that's watching in Cambodia, you that's watching in Iraq and Iran, you that's watching in the Congo and the Sudan, Amen. you that's watching in Iceland and Greenland and New Zealand. Wonderful. No matter where you are, repent and be baptized. He said he suffer all men everywhere. He command all men everywhere to do what? Repent. 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 You that are here tonight, God said, repent and do what? Be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what you got to get. Amen. Anybody want to oath? We baptized four, four went down last night. Wonderful. Four went down last night in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody here tonight want to get on the Lord's side? We got one. Anybody want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Anybody want to be baptized? You're not saved if you're not baptized. Amen. We got three, four. Wave your hand. You that are standing, you that are standing, look back there. You see them brothers back there and that sister? Go back there with them. Go back there with them. Glory right, to God. Amen. There's been a lot of good information today. Oh, yeah. Comparing spiritual things to spiritual. You that are watching, if you find this offensive, swallow your pride. That's it. And just accept you've been bamboozled for years. Humble yourself, and if you really mean to get in the kingdom of God, it's time to start. Stop paying tithing. Stop paying offering. Don't you give no, that preacher no more money until he answered those questions with Bible. Why are we doing it? And these preachers will scare you up when you leave that church. They'll tell you when you leave here, you're going to die. That's right. <laughs> you're going to die. That's what they say. You fool. That's you're going to die anyway. Amen. Even if you don't leave that church, you may die while you're sitting in the church. That's right. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of your church. Come out. You that wrote me around the world by the thousands, and I'm not exaggerating. I can't even count the amount of letters where people have told me I don't go to church no more. Groups are meeting around the world, gathering around the internet and the television, watching a program. There was a group of 13 in El Dorado, Arkansas, that was coming together, I believe, for a few years, watching us every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. And when we went there, they couldn't wait to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. This message is just so strong, even college students have written me throughout America and have told me how they come together in their dorms to watch this telecast. And then they all come together after they watch it and sit and have discussions about the truth of God. Yes, this message is God given. So to all of you that is meeting in your homes who have declared yourselves to be members of the truth of God, and part of First Church. I don't know you, so I advise you to contact us, flood your letters in, and I want to say to everyone that write or email, make sure all your contact information is on your letter. If you got an email, your email, your address, even down to your phone number, everything, send it to us. 
That way when we are coming in your area or there's events taking place, you may get some news pop up on your phone. You may find my face on your phone Amen. talking to you, telling you it's time to get your house in order. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Let us all stand. We'll be closed in prayer by Brother Minister Roger English from Atlanta. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for this evening for allowing us to be here once again to hear the truth of God preached into our hearts. We're praying, God, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart would be acceptable in your sight, Lord God. We pray, God, for those who are going down in water in the name of the Lord Jesus, that you fill them with the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, touch each and every heart, Lord God. Bless our children, Lord, that they will be trained up into the way that they should go. When they're old, they will not depart from it, Lord God. My God, as we leave from this place, Lord God, allow us to return back to hear the truth of God once more, if it be your will, Lord God. These things we ask and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. May we all say amen. amen. Be back tomorrow at 1130, brothers and sisters.